Okay, NASCAR Nano's back. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be cooking a Mexican dish and I call it carne con chile, which is meat, spices, a gravy mix that you make, which includes all these items. So let me turn the camera around if I may. So it includes cup of bell peppers or a little more because you're gonna need it for the rice and the dish. We have diced green bell peppers, fajita seasoning, garlic salt, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, comino, and we have the caro de polo y caro de tomate, which in English is a tomato cube and a chicken bouillon cube. And of course, we have our flour. We do have, oh, that was just one regular white new potato, a big one. And here I have cut up um, pork chops. So say hello, say we're live on YouTube. So we come over here and the first things we're gonna do first is we're gonna wash our hands. So y'all allow me to wash my hands if you may. We must use the good sanitation, bath and body works. Always oh, smells so fresh. So we're gonna go ahead and wash our hands real good. Okay, after we wash our hands, we should dry our hands real good. So, next that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and reverse the camera again so you won't be able to see my gorgeous smile. All right. So, I have two pans. I have, oh, and I must say, I rock Rachel Ray. Okay, so we're going to have this pan for the rice, and we're going to use this pan for the carne con chile. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to turn my stove on about between four and six. Everybody's ranges are a little different. I'm going to use olive oil. I'm more of an olive oil kind of person um, versus regular cooking oil. It's a lot healthier. So what we're going to do is we're going to put just a little bit of olive oil in this pan. We just need enough to brown the meat good and we just need enough to saute. Then I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and put a little dab for my rice. When making Mexican rice you usually use manteca which is pure pig lard. I don't use that. So I'm just going to do that, just enough to coat the onions. So I would say maybe a teaspoon, tablespoon. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and put this back up where I collect all my... Yeah, you can tell I'm a cook. Y'all want to see what's in my freezer too? All right. And that's not counting my deep freeze in the garage. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and I'm going to wait for this oil to start getting really, really, really nice and warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down to about two, cause we don't want to just splatter everything at one time. So what I'm gonna do is I've already washed and cut my pork. You do not want to cross contaminate guys. Please clean your countertops, uh, wash your hands after handling pork and chicken and beef as well. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly add this in here because I do not want it to splatter anywhere. And then I'm going to go over here to my sink and I'm going to put that in my sink. So now we're just going to sit here and we're going to let this start doing this little thing. Get it all in the olive oil good. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab some seasonings. What I use on my meat is going to be garlic salt and I use Lari's and then I'm going to put some onion powder so I'm going to go ahead and put a, and I don't ever measure I do everything by eye but if you were cooking this this is exactly four pork chops the thin ones um I would use